What's going on guys? Welcome to Money Monday. Um, it's gonna be super quick today. I know I say that all the time, but uh, on a time crunch. Um, I'll recap this project whenever it's all done, but um, I'll show you real quick what I've done. Uh, we got this one pretty much framed out, ready to go. Um, finishing up cutting all of the intermediate beams which are down here on the ground. Um, and I'll go over here and show you what we did over the last week and a half. And then later show you uh, a little bit more in detail, things I've learned, whatever, whatever. Uh, still got some finished work to knock out on these. Got to finish the end caps and touch up the paint in a few places. But the roofers are supposed to be here today, so I was trying to get as much done out of the way as I could uh, last night. really excessive for what it is. In my last video I spoke real quick about how um, the engineer kind of changed things up last minute and they were all supposed to be <coughs> excuse me they were all supposed to be framed essentially like the first one where there was just one beam in the center or two. I know some of the spans and the runs are a little bit longer but um, the engineer basically said we're gonna run them every two feet. And the material changed to three eighths and a quarter, which has made it a lot more difficult time-wise. Takes longer to weld, takes longer to cut. A um, little bit more difficult to fit just because you're now dealing with thickness at an angle. Um, you end up with a bunch of pieces that kind of like this. And then you have like a, a leading edge And when you're running title material, all that stuff kind of matters. So, make a bad fit, end up with a wide gap, takes longer to weld. Um, I ended up picking up a few different people along the way. The people that were supposed to help me didn't. Um, a lot of people I thought I could count on, I couldn't. And it's not a bad thing, you know, it is what it is. You just kind of take it and roll. So, I hit up another buddy who has a similar contracting company and has a lot larger base of people. And he was able to bring a crew out Saturday, Sunday, today's Monday, and we knocked out a lot. Um, I've got one more to build over here behind me, right there. And that one should be done by Wednesday sometime. I'm gonna finish up putting the beams on this one tonight. If we get them all tacked up, I'll probably stay late and weld them out. I've been working about 16, 18 hours a day. And it sucks, it's, uh, it's rugged, um, but today's Money Monday episode really I'm trying to stand in the shape. Uh, there's a bunch of shit over there where my pipeliner's cloud is and people walking by. Um, today's Money Monday is uh, make other services work for you. Um, I know I talked about it in my podcast a long time ago and realized uh, after speaking with one of my mentors that uh, there is a strength in leveraging other people's time, you know, to your benefit. So, uh, my buddy's company is charging me a uh, per head per hour rate, which is pretty typical in this world. Um, they basically had uh, single wheel rigs, bobcats, which you might have seen stashed back there. They dropped them off just to make it easier. Uh, and yeah, they came out here and are knocking it out. Um, but most importantly, the lesson that is, I think, rung true mostly for this week is, you know, like having the other services work for you. So I'm here just to provide steel, um, fabrication, insulation, and I had to, you know, deal with the, the concrete guys and whatever else. And I could have just stepped aside and let them do their thing, use the print and whatever else. But um, if I didn't go back and check a lot of that, uh... I would have been kind of in hot water just trying to make things square, trying to make things level, whatever else. And so uh, we're all on this project together as a team, but like everything builds. So like what I have to build builds on their part. So make those other guys work for you just as much as you're working for them. Um, so the concrete guys, they had some, you know, poles that were messed up, some things were out of square, some things were out of line. 
and that plays a big part in how you plan things and fit things up. You know, we discovered, you know, a pole was out of the square uh, by like two inches over two feet, you know. Calculate that up to another 10 feet in the air, you're gonna be way out. Um, so have them fix it. Like that's their job is to provide, you know, the, the level surface for you to put things on. Um, and that will go a long way. Um, you know, like they, another service had left a bunch of crap where I needed to work. Like, I could have cleaned it up, but that's not my job. Uh, now, 10 o'clock at night while I'm here by myself, I'm sure, moved it out of the way. Uh, just because they didn't get to it and I needed to do it, that's my thing. But if uh, they are working at this site and they move over there and they leave a bunch of shit, I'm going to pick it up. Um, it's pretty simple if you think about it in concept, but uh, it will make your life a lot easier. So, i got to get back to it. My guys are getting ready to come back from lunch. i got to fly a bunch of pieces up, and I'm going to go take lunch. And then we're going to move on over and set poles on that next one. So you guys have a fantastic freaking Monday. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out.